here I'm showing off a solar food dryer or dehydrator that um, I actually made this back in college. This was a senior project I worked on uh, at my university. Was testing. They were like eight foot long. They were a lot bigger ones, and I tested a lot of different variables. But um, I want to show how you can use solar for ways you may not like think of, think of off the top of your head. Is uh, one application would be drying food. This is great for off grid, and I actually modified the the big one I used to deal with to, I shrunk down the dimensions and this is a small portable version. These legs come off. This will fit in the back of your car or truck. Um, and I use recycled materials. This is actually, uh, these are beer cans that I use for the, the roof of this. Um, so right here, you've got, this is mesh down here, um, like a vinyl mesh or something like that. And this lets airflow in here. So you actually want airflow. And all this is is a big solar collector to um, kind of collect heat. And so it lets the sun in through this acrylic plate right here. I think this is acrylic. And you've got your uh, aluminum framing right here. And then I don't know if you could see this is uh, this black uh, metal material right here. That's a heat absorber. I painted it black. And what that does is as the sun comes in here, there's insulation to keep the heat in. That's reflective and it reflects it back on this heat absorber. And that's actually very hot right now. If I put my hand on it, it's pretty, pretty hot. And it, it allows you to keep the heat in as long as possible is when you're collecting it like that, it radiates back. So what he, this is, is the thermal chimney. And I actually have it where uh, this unhooks right here. And these are vents in the top. So as the, the heat comes in here, uh, it has a place to ventilate back out. So it pulls in cool air, heats it, and then dumps it back out because it's gonna collect moisture from drying the food. But it's gonna pull the moisture out and it has a place to vent the moisture. So back here, you've got these different, um, these different uh, trays that you can slice up your produce, vegetables, fruit, beef jerky. I did pasta sauce one time, a lot of different things. And um, you, can, you can dry a lot of food. As you can see, there's six of these. So, it's, it's quite a bit of volume you can really fit in this thing um, as far as drying your food every day. Uh, you know, if you, if you buy fresh produce, you eat the fresh produce, and if you're concerned about uh, anything going bad, you can uh, really save a lot of food waste by drying it out and using it later. And right here I've got weather seal, so it really keeps a lot of that, that loss, like from... Uh, air escaping through here. So it really uh, keeps it in that temperature range that you need for drying the food. And then you've got these, uh, these things slide right here and you can control how much heat or how much air is allowed to exit through the top of this thing. So uh, thanks for joining us and I look forward to telling you about more stuff in the future.